Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today we are going to talk about the 10 things that I learned while I was in China. So without further ado, let's just get started. Number one on this list is that I learned that Chinese food from home is not the same as Chinese food in China. It's a very different thing. Both good and bad, both good and bad, but the taste so different. Number two is I learned that pollution is an actual thing. I thought pollution was just bad weather just like in Denmark it's great but then I learned that when you can't see the buildings it's actually a bad thing. Then I thought okay I should get a mask. I saw these surgical masks so I got those. My friend was like oh my god why are you wearing this? That's so stupid. It's not working at all. So he showed me that I should get this M3 mask which is supposed to be better but he also told me that I should get an air purifier because that's just really important, you know, when it's polluted outside, it's also polluted inside and you stay at home a lot when it's polluted, right? So yeah, that's the second thing I learned here in China. The third thing I learned in China was that WeChat is everything. WeChat is God in China. If you do not have WeChat, you don't have a life in China. Number four is a girly thing. Yes, I learned that in China it's very difficult to find tampons. I actually still don't really know where to find them. I think I just gave up and was like, whatever, not important. <laughs> Number five is I learned that everything is blocked in China. In the beginning I thought it was only a few websites and I thought oh no worries I can go to cold turkey I don't need to talk to people I'll just ask my friends at home to get a, a hotmail and then we can uh, send emails or Skype and they were just like uh, no <laughs> and after a few months I was like okay I really need a VPN so I got a VPN so guys that's what I learned as well again I have a link below for ExpressVPN the one that I'm using I really love that one so if you're interested have a look at that one if you're going to China and you also want a social life online with your foreign friends and not only WeChat. <laughs> Number six, I learned that people don't speak English in China. They might learn it, but they don't speak it. It's very difficult to find people on the street who speak it. So I learned that you need to learn Chinese. And I also learned that you can't just pick up Chinese randomly here and there. You need to study. You need to focus on that study. So yeah, I've made another video about my language language journey with Chinese. I also want to suggest that if you're really busy, you can go around and use Chinese Pod, which is a really cool website where you can uh, download podcasts and listen to it on the go. I have a link below if you want to check that out as well in the description box. So yeah, you have to study hard to learn Chinese, but when you do, so valuable. It's so important. I love it so, 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 so much. Really feel like I spend my time very well. Number seven, I learned <laughs> here in China is that the Chinese government do not give a shit about what I do. Before I was like, oh my god, if I log on to a VPN, are they gonna come and arrest me? No. Also, I thought, oh my god, if I say that the Chinese government is annoying or bad, are they gonna come and arrest me? No. <laughs> So basically guys, they don't give a shit about you if you're logging onto your VPN or if you're talking or discussing Chinese politics, it's totally fine. Don't worry about that. Just don't do dumb things. Like if you wanna, if you don't want to get arrested, just don't steal or fight or get stupid drunk and do really dumb things, you know, or break into places, rob a bank, don't do that. Also, don't go to Tiananmen Square and hold up a free Tibet uh, flag or bring knives in the metro, but I feel like these are kind of, you know, obvious, so <laughs> just saying. But really, in general, the Chinese government do not have time to go around and arrest foreigners before logging onto VPN or talk negative about the government, so yeah. Just saying. <laughs> I'm standing at the entrance to a temple, so that's why people are walking behind me. I think the other one walking was a monk or something. <laughs> okay, number eight. I learned that imported food is very expensive. I think that's very common like wherever you go, but I hadn't really traveled abroad before I came to China, so I didn't think about this before, but now I've never ever paid so much money for my oatmeal and my fermented milk, but yeah, that's just another part of being an expert here in China. Number nine is about this street food <clears throat> so before coming here I heard a lot of people a lot of people talking about street food like oh it's not good for you you're gonna get sick you're gonna have a bad stomach for like ages you're gonna kill yourself in the end no street food won't kill you guys 
it's not great for your stomach I gotta say that my stomach is very sensitive before I would eat it here and there but if I eat it like in a row like every single day for a month no that's a no-go anyways guys just look for the street food where a lot of people are eating because like if a lot of people are standing in a row or in a line for um, for one stall you kind of know that it's good food and also it might be fresh because so many people buy it right so they have to make it and make it and make new and new and new and new so there you go number nine street food doesn't kill you <laughs> Number 10, I learned that you have to bring toilet paper wherever you go in China. That is very important, very, very important. Also, when you're going to the bathroom, don't floss the toilet paper in the toilet because that can also turn into a very awkward situation. Not gonna talk more about that in details, but yeah, just saying guys. Those were the 10 things that I learned while I was here in China. I probably learned many other things as well, but these were the things I could come up with and that's also, you know, I hope it's useful for you guys if you're coming to China the things that's good to know before coming to China because China is a different culture it's interesting but different anyways guys I hope you like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling below and I'll see you again very very soon Ling Ling is out see ya and bye bye